hello hello my beautiful booze I got a video for you guys I got some new products in the mail and I'm excited to show this to you guys but I got these and I am so freaking excited guys I cannot wait to try these so I'm gonna do these in this video for you guys I went ahead and separated them but these are the coffin shaped you know couture one two three uh, go nails. I'm super super excited to try them. I can't wait. So I also got their base gel to apply them with because I've seen that you can do this with base gel, poly gel, or the sculpture gel that they have. And I also got their light as well. But I don't think I'm going to be using the light in this because it's a little hard to do the light. Plus, um, you, I've got to get some more batteries. It takes AAA batteries, so I'm going to use my regular light with it. But I'm wondering, like, I wonder if you can apply these and apply acrylic on top. I'm just wondering. I don't know. They're made of gel, so I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this, whether I'm going to apply anything on top or just put these on and go. But anyway... But these are what they look like. Now, I should have got the XXL was what I wanted, but I wanted to try them first to see whether I liked them or not. But they seem to fit really well. The, th the Zero is really, really good. Fits sidewall to sidewall. So I do like that. So, let's see. Let me go ahead and size these up, guys, and we'll take a look at these. So, I have them all sized up, and now I do have a little bit of product on from a previous set. So, I'm not really worried about, like, damage to my natural nail because it's got a, a layer of gel already on it. So, I'm just going to rough my nail beds up real fast. As you can see, you can see the product, it's kind of like dusting up a little bit. And it's okay if you do have product on below it, it's not going to hurt it. Um, but you just want to do this to all your nails. You do want to make sure that if you're doing this on your natural nail that you are not being rough or hard or anything like that because you don't want to damage your natural nail. I always leave product on my natural nails that way I don't damage them. Um, I love Enel Couture. Their products are amazing. Their acrylic is my core system and their poly gels and stuff. So I do use that quite often. Um, other than my acrylics, I use uh, Inel Couture and I use the, the Nail Junkie, her acrylics. They are amazing, guys. I do have a code for those down below, so go in my description box and you can save yourself 10 or 15% off on the Nail Junkie. So make sure to use that. But, alright, so we are buffed up. And like I said, I've got the Inel Couture base gel. I do have their top coat as well, but I've had it for a while now, so it's time for a new bottle. I don't know why I didn't go ahead and order it when I ordered this, but I totally forgot. Not quite sure what kind of design that I want to do. I know it's Valentine's, but I'm not really feeling the Valentine mood, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now, like I said, I have the flashy light. Alright guys, so I'm taking this diamond bit... Um, I'm using the diamond bit because I feel like that will be a little bit easier on the gel nails. But you want to put these on and size them up to your nail bed. Because when you go to etch this out, you want to make sure you etch all the way up to the end of your nail bed. Because if not, your levels will cause lifting. And you don't want that. So you make sure that you're etching out enough and far enough up on the gel nail. Be very careful do not apply hard pressure or anything like that because you don't want to fall away all of the nail. But you just want to make sure you're getting up on the sidewalls of it and all the way back at the cuticle. Once you do that, you can go ahead and like 
do a little bit of the cuticle area if you don't want to do any filing afterwards. Me personally, I will file mine afterwards. So I'm just barely grazing over the inside of this nail because I don't want to file too hard and file any of the nail away. So, all right. So make sure, like I said, do all that and make sure that you're etching all the way up to the end of your nail bed. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video and I'll be in and out of this video for you guys to explain to y'all what I'm doing in each process. But I'm going to go ahead and edge each one of these out and I'll be right back. So I'm going to be using the Enel Couture Prep just to clean off my nail beds, make sure there's no dust or anything. And I'm actually going to use the primer. Okay, so I'm going to be using their base coat. This is what the base coat looks like. It's a little thick, not too bad. Now, I've never tried these before, so I'm not too sure how well these are going to work. And so, I'm just going to start right here. And I'm only going to come about halfway. I feel like if you're going to be pushing this down, that it will push the product itself. So, and... Like they're really hard to get on. Now I am actually going to um, hold this down for just a second and I'm just going to clean this out. I 
Thanks, babe. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this out right here. So that came right off. Holy cow. I do feel like I got an air pocket in there. Holy cow, it actually worked. I'm like shocked right now, but I did get a little bit of an air pocket right there. It's going to be okay though. I mean, it seems to be really well. And I'm, I just want to say all the hype. These are not bending. They're not like, like everybody's saying where they're bending their nails down and stuff. That's totally not the case at all. As you can see, they are perfect. They are as they are. They are very, very good right now. just going to make sure I get that really really well now I do have a little place right here that didn't stick all the way down but hopefully that will stay I hope it's, that's like really hard so I'm going to try something different here because that's just way too hard to have to hold in your mouth I love the base gel. It applies really nice, very smooth. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get a grip on these though, because like getting a grip on these is so freaking hard. But I'm gonna try my pretty little diva lamp here, because it seems to work really well that way. And I am wiping off some of the gel as I pull it off my nail. So it won't be as thick, I guess. You do want it a little thick, but not so thick that it's going to run off. So, like I said, that's something that will come with practice, no doubt. I will let you guys know how long these last and um, 
I may refill them once, like do an infill on them to see how well they work. Now, if you're interested in the little, uh, pretty little Diva lamp, well, now you can do this with any lamp. You could probably actually do this with the Enel Couture lamp too, if you have that as well. Um, this is just an open little lamp that I got on um, Amazon. It's just completely open, so it works really well. So, but I'm sure you you can do this with any lamp, any lamp that you have. You don't have to have this lamp personally to do this, but. Uh, I just feel like it makes it a little bit easier just to hold it outside of it because as long as the light is hitting it, it should. Okay, so my first impression is I like them. I love the clear. Um, they feel really nice. Uh, you do have to be careful about air bubbles, but that's just with practice that'll come, of course. Um, they feel really sturdy. They are not bending or anything like that. As you can see, I cannot bend these. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I've seen so many videos where people were bending them and things like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is, but these are sturdy. So I am just, there's a little tiny tab at the bottom of them. You just want to file that off. Like I can't believe how easy and then you're ready to go. Like, what in the world? Like it's fantastic. Another big thing, like I said, you will have to do is make sure that you put these on evenly because um, it's very easy to get them crooked. Beautiful. I love those. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. Now, my question was, you know, doing art on top of these. They look beautiful. I really like them. I think they're gorgeous. Just looking to make sure, like, they're even. I am going to take my file underneath them just to make sure if there's any gel or anything like that. You can do that now. That way, if you feel like there's gel underneath it, you can get that out. but I really think these are gorgeous. Okay, so now I am actually just going to, uh, I have this on a low speed. I guess I should turn it up a little bit. Not very high, but I'm just gonna go and go around the back part of my nail and the side walls here. I just wanna make sure that it's fully flushed and make sure there is no product outside of the nail.
Spaß. I swear I love them. They're just so beautiful. Now, I know people usually put stuff on top of them like base coat, poly gel, just different things like that. I'm sh wondering if you could do acrylic on top of them. I would think so, that you could. Alright guys, so this is what they look like. I've got them all buffed up and ready for nail art. So stay tuned for the next video to see what they look like. I will leave the link down below for the Enel you know, Couture 123 Go Nails. Even after I filed, they are buffed them. They are still sturdy. They're not bending. Um, but I'll leave the link to the base gel, the light. I still have on and the you know Couture 123 Go Nails. Let me know what you think down below of these products if you've used them before, if you've tried them out. If not, I recommend them. They are beautiful and absolutely so easy to do, but I love them. So, anyways, guys, make sure to hit that like button down below. Go ahead and comment, subscribe while you're here. Let's be friends, let's do some nail art together. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.